see how we feel and we want to fly like a bird to your pool and we dance it full of bodies and we dance it full of and we dance it Our very special guest today is Brother Michael Baltasaro of the Church of the Universe. Welcome to the show, Brother Michael. Thank you for having me, sister. You're very welcome, Brother Michael. Why don't you tell our viewing audience about your Church of the Universe? Is it a religion or a philosophy or a shelter for the use of uh, legal marijuana in a, in a semi-legal uh, law system that we have right now? Explain. That's that. It definitely a shelter. Churches are, have sanctuary, and if you have a religious belief, you shouldn't need a church to have a religion. The Church of the Universe is a bunch of people that have their own religions and their own beliefs in God. Our church is the assembly of, so people can assemble, we're stronger in numbers, you don't have to believe what I do. What you have to do is treat me the way you want to be treated. <laughs> so the, uh, one of the tenets of this philosophy is you are encouraged or, or uh, indulge in the use of the sensimilla herb plant? <laughs> Some people do, but that's not a prerequisite. That, it's a prerequisite, we believe, that you use God's tree of life, which is what we believe is the marijuana, to use a Mexican word. It's really strange that marijuana, I have a marijuana, medicinal marijuana license, so here we are using a Mexican word in law, in a statute, when you only can speak French and English. We must have adopted marijuana into the English language. Uh, well, the Amazing, eh? The Rastafarians, you know, they use the herb in their religion. It is a lot of people do. It is a fact yeah. that they use this as part of their meditations. Yeah. And uh, so now we are in the country of Canada where it's a very gray area. People do indulge. Uh, however, uh, explain how the law has affected your well, use. You were on the CBC. Three years in prison. Right? <laughs> That's how it's affected my use over the years. Just because we were honest enough to sign police officers up without saying, you know, if I was a, here I am selling $10 worth of pot. That's not a living. That's stupid. <laughs> Well, we're just, uh, I just, it's the way I feel, it's the way many of us feel, so we got together. Uh, because it's a God thing, we believed in God, it formed into a church. Where is your headquarters, brother? Right now in Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes, wherever I am is my headquarters. When I was in prison, that was my headquarters. <laughs> the church follows me, a church isn't a building, it's a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. My religion is my religion, my thing with God. Uh, and do unto others as you'd have others do unto you is the only prerequisite to a good friendship, a good relationship. Otherwise, what you have is a war going on because somebody's trying to screw you. Well, let's talk about uh, other forms of smoking here that we have legal. Uh, we have cigarettes that are quite legal and highly taxed. And uh, they do cause cancer, as you know. And uh, how do you feel about certain things being legal that are proven to be deadly and highly taxed, whereas other <laughs> things that are in many ways beneficial if per used properly in ceremonial contexts and so forth. Uh, the you... only reason marijuana is illegal because they can't find a way to control it by taxing it because it's so easy to grow. Nobody, most people grow it all summer long in their gardens. So. And the reason, like, we don't, I don't say anybody has to, to, to smoke it or eat it, but certainly we should be wearing it and growing it because it puts more into the soil than it takes out. It will grow in uh, ultraviolet light, when, and we're losing our ozone, so we have much more of that. God, it's God's tree of life. That's what I believe is the biblical term for marijuana. It's the only plant that might have 12 gifts, one for every month, on the entire planet. It's the only plant I've ever seen that's never hurt anybody, and yet they're killing people over it, and people do die and have been murdered and killed by stupid laws, just by throwing people in jail, breaking up families. Why? Because they're growing pot. Somebody should. Well, just the other night, last night, our dear friend uh, and colleague David Kiner was here at the compound and we were watching a movie, a documentary about the Motor City Five, whose member was in prison for two years for one marijuana cigarette. What do you think about the laws in the United States compared to Canada? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's the same. There's a, there's a law. Like, you can't fine me for it. Why? Even a fine is too much for something that, that's a beneficial herb, that's healthy. Like the reason they, the reason, the doctors prescribe it for glaucoma because marijuana, unlike tobacco, it, it constricts the blood vessels and chokes you. Marijuana opens them. So in cases of glaucoma, it relieves the pressure in your eyes. Well, the reason time slows down, 
I know this because I'm getting to be an old guy. I remember that. The reason time slows down is because you've got more blood in your brain, so you're thinking faster. So you get more in a minute. So you, see, you think the time is slowed down. But I don't go in slow motion. I don't have trails any more than anybody else does that. Does that right? Very interesting. Uh, now, Brother Michael, why don't we discuss other countries and their laws? Now, in Holland, mm -hmm. Amsterdam is actually the sister city of Toronto, for people that don't know that. In Holland, and I visit Holland regularly, uh, things like marijuana and hash uh, and sex trade are legal, and yeah. yet it is the lowest crime rate per capita of any European city. Uh, and they're raking in quite a lot of money by taxing these legal uh, legally consumables. Uh, so how do you th how do you foresee things changing for the future of our society? Can you foresee that a, a day will come where uh, in Canada things will be absolutely free uh, and rather than in this gray zone that they are I've, right now? I've had police officers and I've had Crown prosecutors tell me in courtrooms as they were prosecuting me that it would never be legal. I had one prosecutor, a lady, and she was Jewish of the Jewish faith, she says to me, my God is treating me better than your God is treating you. <laughs> of course, the Yahweh God and Jesus went on and said, God is the Father. Well, that wouldn't go over too well with the Jews or the Romans with their many gods. What do you mean? God is the Father. That might mean God might be the goddess. Oh, my God. Give women rights? Only a hundred years ago we did. Uh, what about other... I may have sidetracked a bit on that. That's okay. I, I'm going young. It's what my medicine. <laughs> what about other forms of uh, herbal medicine? For example, in Afghanistan, some countries are trying to control the natural production of opium. And, um, you know, in other areas of the world, in South America, the coca farmers are being oppressed from growing their natural uh, form of, of refined other drugs which are responsible for a lot of crime and so forth uh, and coffee is legal but coca isn't and um, pharmaceutical grade antidepressants are legal yet they have side effects such as suicide uh, how do you see the use of natural herbs and plants that are in nature uh, being oppressed now by by governments, whereas pharmaceuticals are wantonly prescribed and rewarded uh, by uh, the pharmaceutical Pharmace companies, and they make the money. Right. And the police prosecute anybody who might have something natural or herb growing in their garden. Now it's illegal. You can go to jail with the marijuana guy. What were you growing? Pumice or whatever? Garlic? <laughs> whatever it is. They're putting meat glue in food. They're putting gluten, wheat gluten in food, they're killing, uh, sticking everybody together with glue and you wonder why the hospitals are full. Uh, if you look, turn the clock back, like in, when I was living in Guelph, there's a, a place, a store, and it used to be a drugstore, and that's where you went and bought heroin. They used to give you opium and heroin for headaches and stuff, and we didn't have the crime and stupid we got here. Uh, I live in Hamilton, I got a crack house next door, the one upstairs just moved out because they didn't pay the rent, and prostitutes all over the place. <laughs> and lots of business in my backyard, that's where they park. You know, you almost have to wear rubber boots when you go out in the morning. <laughs> Little booties on my cat, eh? But seriously, uh, making it illegal only makes money for judges and police officers and stuff like that. And surely we have better things to do. But we, I've been at the other end of a war on drugs all my life. As soon as I, I started smoking when I was 20, I'm 61 now. I guess I was 20. But when I was 16, I, I voted for Trudeau. The times that we are in right now, uh, some people see the end of the world coming according to the Mayan calendar. Yes. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about that? Well, that's, again, like if, if at one time we lived on Mars, there's a 25,000 year cycle in that. Now, what have happened? The Hopi Blue Star, that was an explosion in the center of the galaxy known as the Milky Way. We're on the Orion Belt, way out there. I can show you on my iPhone, it's got the thing, you can actually see the center of the universe. And we're going to line up with that again, as we do every 25,000 years. Well, what if, like we have an asteroid belt around the sun now. What if something happened and we were living on Mars, and Atlantis was just a vacation spot destination? Like, <laughs> you think we, the, we were just 
How old are we? Uh, ancient, very ancient. So, you, excuse old. me, uh, let me interrupt again, uh, because you said something about the aliens uh, having visited Earth, and Earth was a vacation destination for the aliens? Could have been, but look, if you look at chapter, the Bible, you look at chapter 6, Genesis, you'll see that the sons of God came down and took the wives, the daughters of man for their wives, and God said, you can't keep doing that, they'll become like us and live forever. So Hercules and the boys disappear again up their mountain. They're always up, always up. And they're, you know, that's the only place to go is up. It's fascinating. It is. And, and then it says, then the Nephilim were on the earth at that time and even afterwards. The Nephilim weren't from the planet Earth. They were giants and apparently they had two rows of teeth. Did you read the And they were killed by the children of the sons of God, which is why they were breeding. Go ahead. What do you think of the doors of perception? Did you read all the texts that did it influence you in any way? No, I didn't read that. Oh, okay. Well, it's basically about to control experiments that Aldous Huxley did with LSD and it oh, expanded yeah. his doors of perception, mm -hmm. the gateway being these medicinal plants that we're discussing in terms of usages in many religions, mm -hmm. as you know, the, the wisdom weed is called ganja, the five-leafed herb uh, from the Holy Sank, uh, River Ganges. But in, in historical terms, many uh, people have used herbs and plants and potent things, yes. like peyote, uh, Carlos Castaneda's writings. Mm -hmm. uh, so opening the doors of perception, did you find that through your ingestion of these medicinal properties of THC, has this expanded the influx of celestial thoughts and uh, influences? <laughs> oh, sure, but but I, 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 I've been tuned into that one I, right, right from the get-go. Oh, very good. It's like, I, you know, I remember, I remember things that, that maybe some, we all remember some things that I guess yeah, spiritually and psych psychically. What about dreams? What about the dream world? Uh, that's real. That's real? Oh yeah, dreams are so very, too. yeah. Uh, Reverend Brother Michael, we're going to run out of time now, but why don't we tell the uh, viewing audience where you can be found on the internet? What is your website? Well, it's IAMM.com. That's I am with two M's dot com. And uh, type in Michael Baldessero, you'll find me on Facebook. Church of the Universe is on Facebook. Very good, Brother Michael. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, sister. You're very welcome. And uh, viewers, if you'd like to see future episodes of this show, please tune in to pentagram666.com. Jerry, take it away. When we do, when we do Reverend from Talk, from yes, you should. I'll bring Lee, and he'll bring his camera, because he's doing the dark. Right now for stage. I'm high right now. Doing 55. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on medicine. I'm not high. Isn't that weird? Guys on medicine aren't high or not stoned, but I am. Oh, well, wait a minute, I'm on medicine. You see how mixed up I am? It's the government that did that. Thank you so much. <laughs>